So something that is very much part of my routine is washing my makeup brushes and sponges. I'm going to show you exactly how I wash my brushes without damaging them. So I get to keep them for years and save on buying new ones to replace the damaged ones. I've laid down a clean towel onto which I will place the washed brushes. To clean my brushes, I will be using these soaps. I'm sure you're familiar with one of these brands. This is the Dove soap. I've chosen the coconut oil version. The other soap is pretty much the only thing I ever take from guest lodges and hotels that we stay at. The reason I love these is because hotel soaps have to contain very few ingredients in them. More ingredients just means high probability that one of those ingredients will cause allergies, breakouts or affect guests who use them. It also contains palm oil which is great for removing makeup off brushes and sponges. And what's great is that they are also paraben free and pH balanced. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly rinse these soaps so there's no remaining residue from the last time I used them. So I'm now pairing similar brushes together. So small fluffy and eyeshadow brushes will be washed in batches of 5 or 7 or any number that you can hold and still wash them well. I'm using this silicone glove to make cleaning more thorough and easier. I got this one from Switch Beauty. I will leave their details in the description box. Next, we are going to wet your brushes. Be sure to face them down. If you look at the anatomy of a makeup brush, the ferrule attaches the bristles to the handle with glue. If water gets into it over time, that glue will loosen and your brush will either shed or the handle will detach. Now I'm going to lather the brushes with the soap. You want to get a good lather between the bristles to really loosen all of that makeup gunk. Now we can scrub our brushes thoroughly on our silicone mat or glove. If you don't have one, try a Tangle Teaser hairbrush or it's generic. They are so effective in getting between those bristles. They sell them in most beauty, drugstores or pharmacies. Here is my Tangle Teaser hairbrush, just so you know what I'm talking about. So you're just going to continue to scrub until the water runs clear after rinsing your brushes. I prefer to use warm to hot water to rinse them out. Now squeeze out the bristles to remove the excess water. You can also flip those brushes to remove more water and speed up your drying time. Now that these are thoroughly washed, you can rub them on the clean towel and shape them by pressing the bristles together. And that's it. Now I just leave them to dry on the towel. Now you just have to repeat the process with the rest of the brushes. Just remember to pair like sizes together to make it easier. For the sponges, you won't use the silicone mat, just the soap to lather, squeeze and rinse. You will need to do this a few times to get it really clean. These silicone mats can get so dirty. To clean them, I use a tooth brush and my gel face wash, but you can use any foamy face wash. And that's it guys, hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching.